Hi, this is Rick Alloy, and I'm here to show you a, a very quick tutorial on how to get the same effect or something like uh, what you can get with Forest Pack without using Forest Pack or Mode Scatter or whatever commercial plugins you can remember of. Uh, one of the most fun things I can find as being as a teacher uh, is to come up with techniques that can help my students and myself, why not, to create very complex effects without relying on third-party plugins and uh, very from when I when I downloaded the, the latest V-Ray update which is V-Ray 3.1 I came up I came up with this idea of using one of the new tools that you can find there called V-Ray Incessor so here's what we have I have a terrain here it's just a plane uh, it's 100 by 100 meters wide so it's something like 2.5 acres of area uh, which is quite big and I have a particle flow event right here which is something like this I have uh, first of all I have all my uh, my particles being emptied like from uh, frame zero so uh, whenever I'm rendering this if it's an animation or something like that all my particles are already there I have 200 particles and each particle is going to be one tree just keep that in mind uh, my position object is the terrain currently I'm using the surface as a location and we can change that later and as you can see here my shape which is a cube a 3d cube is turned off and that's because I'm going to use the V-Ray Incensor as uh, or like a shape event more on that later uh, I turned off the speed because I don't want my particles to move, my trees to move, so it's just turned off. I could ac actually have it deleted altogether like this, so it's not a problem. And I also have a scale operator so I can have some variation on size and also on rotation. So I have my trees to rotate randomly, horizontally, so you can find some more variation. And that's it. A very simple setup. If you know anything about the particle flow, uh, you can come up with something a lot more complicated, a lot more complex, I believe. And here I have five different tree models, all free models found on the internet, right? And here's the thing. You come here and you find the V-Ray Incensor. As I said, it's available uh, with the latest update for V-Ray 3.1. And just put it here. You don't have much to see here, so everything you have to do, or all you have to do, is just add your trees. Like this one. My trees are a little heavy, so my system is not really responsive right now. I have, as you can see, uh, 11 million faces, 11 million polygons, so it's quite a lot. And I'm adding one by one. I just named them with numbers, so I can you know know which one I picked because sometimes you can pick the same tree like twice so it's nice to have numbers and here I have my particle event which is going to be this guy here there you have it then all I have to do is hit render now see uh, all my trees the original trees are in this layer which is not renderable right so they won't charge my RAM so I have everything you see being rendered is all that is uh, taking memory uh, taking RAM memory now now just hit render check this thing here uh, again I have 200 different trees being rendered and the footprint the memory footprint is actually not that large as you can see here we have like 7.3 uh, giga of RAM which is a lot but not that much and we have 200 trees being rendered all together uh, I'm just going to pause my recording so you can see uh, the final render right you don't have to wait for this and there you go after two two minutes and a half two minutes and 46 seconds I have 200 trees rendered with a footprint a memory footprint of like seven point something gigas of RAM now here comes the fun part uh, let's just go back to our particle view and I'm going to increase the amount 
of particles, meaning trees, for like, I don't know, like 800, which is actually quite a lot. And as you remember, we had uh, a very steady RAM footprint, memory footprint going on, like around 7 gigas. Now, check this out. Again, I have four times more trees, more particles. And as you can see, here's the memory footprint. Again, it's just like V-Ray proxies being rendered all together. So, no matter how many trees I have, I have around the same memory footprint, which is incredible. Of course, this rendering is going to take a lot more time or some more time, I don't know, because there's like four times the amount of trees. But, as you can see, the memory stays steady. And that's the beauty of the V-Ray Instancer. This new tool just allows you to create huge amount of trees or whatever you want to create with your particles without affecting your RAM. So if you, for, for instance, here I have 12 gigas of RAM, uh, I'm barely using 7 and it's rendering just as smoothly. Of course, again, the part that concerns to the processor, which is the rendering itself, is going to take more because it's a more consuming rendering. But again, this is just like force spec, as uh, I like to call it the poor man's force spec, because I'm not using any third party plugins, of course, except from V-Ray. But uh, I can, I'm able to create a dense forest with lots of trees and I can actually put a lot of more models there as particles. And it's just rendering just as well as it was 200 trees. Now I have 800 trees and it's rendering all together. Now again, I'm going to pause my recording so you can see uh, the final output and the final render time, just like this. There it is, our final rendering. Uh, it took six minutes, which is not bad. But I want you, to, I want to show you two other things, two two final things. First one, let me just put less trees like this, just to make a quick test. Uh, one thing that Force does very well, Force Pack, is you ha you can have like uh, I don't know splines defining where you want your trees. We can have that here as well. Uh, first, you just come to the position object operator and change the location to selected faces. Very simple. Then you can, you know, just come here to the top view and, I don't know, draw a line like this. And like this. I don't know, I'm just randomly dragging and you know, creating splines, I'm going to attach them just so I can have only one spline. And here's what I'm going to do. They're like this. I'm going to select my terrain, come here to the compound objects, shape merge, pick shape, and click like this. What happened here is that now automatically Max just selects these faces as you can see so when I hit render it will create all the trees all the particles in this area like this there you go then a question oh and if I want to change the the area just a simple you can come here again it's a shape merge object select the line and delete change the line the way you want it like I don't know you can just drag it like this and I don't know change all the verses to smooth and create something like this and this and I don't know I'm just messing around for example and then you do the same as before again when you hit render all the particles will uh, grow inside these two areas just like that so it's a very simple it's non-destructive and you can have as many trees as you want with a very small memory footprint one last thing i want to show you guys is that uh, these are particles in the end these are just particles so it means that if you come here 
and change to V-Ray RT, you can simply hit Particle Systems, like this, and just start the active shade. So this technique is V-Ray RT friendly, and that's a very nice feature. There it is. Again, I have V-Ray RT running with all the trees, like this. Uh, and I don't have a, a dedicated uh, video card for this, so I'm running on CPU, so you have to excuse the, the speed on this. But again, it's totally real time. As, as soon as I stop moving around, it starts to recompute, and voila, there you go. You have a V-Ray RT real time preview of your trees, of your forest. And if you have a decent setup, if you have a, a good machine and a good workstation with a decent uh, dedicated video card, you can have this in a very, very high speed. So there you go. This is what I call the poor man's forest pack. It runs very smoothly. It works very well. And you don't need a third-party plugin to do it. All you need is V-Ray 3.1. Thank you for watching, and uh, if you want to know more about my work, you can go to my website, which is www.rickalloy.com. Once again, thank you. Bye-bye.